Thank you for joining me on this episode of Highway Spec. My name is Trent. We're going to do a hot take today, and this is mine. So today's hot take, we are going to talk about the three most beautiful modern Ferraris. Now there are a couple caveats with this because I am excluding the SP models, the special production ones that are one-offs or ones that are super limited in production because there are some rather beautiful ones, namely the SP2 Monza and SP3 Daytona. But what we're going to do is take some of the newer Ferraris that I just cannot get over how beautiful they are. Of course, if you go back pre-1970 or so, totally different ball game, totally different level of beautiful art, basically, is what it is. So with those caveats in mind, these are my top three most beautiful Ferraris in the modern era. And the hardest one to pick was actually number three, because it's like, what cars do you leave off the list? That's the hard one. First two, I had no doubt in my mind, these were the most beautiful ones. Even as I'm about to say this, I'm like, ah, oh, what? Which ones do I choose for number three? Which one is it? And I think I'm gonna go with the Ferrari 599. Now when this came out, it was gorgeous. As it's aged, I will say it hasn't aged as well as the other two vehicles on this list, but it still looks gorgeous today. I love the design of it. It's not overdone, and I think the standard 599 model is more gorgeous than the 599 GTO. It is perfect the way it is, especially with the standard wheels. Without the HGTE package, I think is actually the way it should have always been. Now second on this list, to me, it was a no-brainer. I think it's going to attract a little bit of controversy. It's way underrated. Even now, as prices are climbing, I still think this is an underrated vehicle, and that is the Ferrari F50. Yes, the F50 to me is classically beautiful. I think it will age incredibly well. It is a little bit over the top. It is the 50th anniversary car, however, I think this thing just oozes gorgeousness, the sound of the motor, and obviously we're talking looks here, but the sound, whew. This thing really bridged the gap from the previous Ferrari styling language to the more modern Ferrari styling language, and I think that it did it tremendously. I especially love the rear three-quarter look or the rear end of this because of that integrated wing. I think the Ferrari F50 will go down as one of the most beautiful Ferraris in the modern era, and for me, it stands at number two. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. A lot of people are probably expecting me to say the Ferrari F40 because they're popular, but no, I don't think it actually looks that good. Yes, it does look good, but it doesn't look that good. To me, the car that has made the biggest most dramatic shift in my mind as I saw this car for the first time, where I was just like, this thing is drop dead gorgeous, especially today, and that is the Ferrari F12. This thing had a very interesting character line where it was very swoopy, and to me, I think the classic Ferrari grille, combined with just the right amount of vents, I think this thing is completely underrated in terms of looks, even though it is still a very popular vehicle, I think it will only appreciate from here based solely on the looks and the fact that it still has a naturally aspirated V12. But we're not just talking about the front end here. Move around to the rear and I think it's just as gorgeous, which a lot of Ferraris can't pull that off. There are a lot of great looking Ferraris from certain angles, but as soon as you change the angle on them, it looks a little overdone or maybe not done enough. This thing is perfect in my opinion, and the most beautiful modern Ferrari. Also, the F12 TDF, as cool as it is, takes it too far and ruins the beauty of it. I believe the standard F12 will be the most beautiful one, however, the F12 TDF, just because of its limited production numbers, I think will still be more popular and have a higher price point, but for me, I'd rather own the standard F12. All right, so what did you think of my three most beautiful Ferraris? in the modern era. What do you disagree on? Do you disagree with the whole list? Make sure to let me know. And if you like videos like these, please consider subscribing and I will catch you on the next one.